Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get the best FPS in Apex Legends. So first thing you want to do is open your game. Once you've opened your game, go to the settings and go to video. And this is the video settings. So you basically want to have the lowest settings here, but I'm going to go over the settings that you should have on your game. So you should have your display mode in full screen. If you're running into issues, just put it to borderless, but full screen gives you the best performance. So you want to have the native aspect ratio, the native resolution. Field of view, this is up to you. You can do it however you want. I keep mine at 110. Sprint view shake, I, I want to keep that on minimal because I don't like my screen shaking. V-Sync, you want that to be disabled because then it will lock your frame rate. Adaptive resolution target, you want to keep this at zero, but you can increase this if you're not getting enough FPS. So I put on anti-aliasing because it looks so bad when I don't have anti-aliasing on. So I keep it on TSAA, but if you want better performance, put it to off, put it to none. Your texture streaming budget, you want to put it on whatever your VRAM is. So I have three gigabyte GTX 1060. So I put on medium, three gigabyte VRAM. So you want to have that exactly on your graphics cards, max VRAM. This one texture filtering, you can put it at 16 times. I don't see an effect on performance when I change this. 16 times looks good and it doesn't affect my performance that much so i just keep it on 16 times but if you feel like your performance is quite low then just put this to the minimum ambient occlusion quality just disable that you don't need that i i have it disabled on mine and it also helps spotting enemies if you disable this sun shadow coverage low sun shadow detail low spot shadow detail low volumetric lighting low dynamic spot shadows disabled model detail low effects detail low impact marks disabled and ragdolls low Okay, once that's done, you can exit out the game and go on to the next step. Once you've exited the game, you want to open up your saved games folder. So what you do is type in saved games in the start menu and click saved game. And then obviously, if you have other saved games, they'll be here. But for Apex, you want to click respawn, then Apex, then local, then video config dot text. So this is a text file. I'm going to open it with WordPad because it's just better. And here you can see this is all of the settings in the game or the video settings, basically. So what you want to do do is just so to increase your performance you want to change CL particle fallback base to zero this to zero this to zero ragdoll to, ragdoll to zero ragdoll self collision to zero matte depth feather enabled to zero with LOD switch scale you can change this from a value from 0 0.35 to 0 0.6 I keep mine on 0 0.5 but if I was to lower that I would get better performance so setting.csm enabled you want to turn that to zero CSM coverage to zero and what you want to do is click save and save it as a video config.txt once you've clicked save and set this all up you can't change any of the video settings in your game otherwise it will reset to prevent it from resetting you can right click it and click properties and click read only and then click apply and then once you change settings in game it won't change this file and that means that your settings would always be the same every time you start the game the next thing you want to do is go to your apex legends folder so for me it's going to be on the c drive then program files times 86 then origin games then apex and then you want to go into cfg and create a file called auto .cfg. to do this make a copy of the config default pc rename it to auto exec Gonna name it auto exec one because I already have one there already. Right click it, then open with, then choose WordPad or Notepad. So I'm gonna choose WordPad and then just delete all of that in there. And you'd have an auto exec CFG. It shouldn't be auto exec one, that's just an example. Once you've done that, you want to paste all of this into the file. You can add and delete some if you want, but this is what I use. This will be in the description. What this does is it unlimits your FPS, so you can have unlimited FPS, it won't limit your FPS, but you can change this to, to limit the FPS to your monitor refresh rate. This it preloads the game. This one reduces ragdolls in the game. This one uses compressed textures. This one disables the screen blur effects this one the same thing this one obviously i had a tutorial on this how to make your minimap rotate if you want this you can make your minimap rotate this one removes depth of field when aiming down sight this one should remove shadows this one forces the game into full screen this one it's a particle time scale so it reduces the amount of uh, particles on the screen i set mine to two you can set it up to six if you want six for the best quality but two i like two so i just leave it at two dxgi max frame latency this makes the frame latency zero so the frames come straight to your screen as soon as they are available this dof enabled means depth of field enabled so this is disabled this is to disable fog this is to disable water fog so this, these are from Titanfall. uh i don't know if these actually work but i keep them in there it doesn't have any negatives to put in it in there but yeah this is my auto exec so once you've done that the next step is to go into your origin then go to my game library 
then click your Apex Legends game, then click settings and then game properties. Then you want to go to advanced launch options and the main thing you want here is plus exec auto exec. So this will launch the auto exec file as soon as you start the game. Dash full screen makes your game full screen. Dash no vid skips the intro to the game which shows EA and respawn seal show fps4 this shows your fps in game uh, this is the best one i prefer having seal show fps4 but you can change it to one two or three or four as well if you want seal show pass one this shows your position in the game you don't need this i just like to see it so i can see my velocity but you don't have to have that i just i just like seeing the statistics really an fps max zero if you want to put that in this is not that important because it's already in the auto exec but i, I put it in both just to make sure and then click save and then once you play your game your fps should be good i'm on a fx6300 so that's quite an old processor i think it's seven years old and i get over 100 fps on average so there you go also in, in the description there'll be a link to download my auto exec if you don't want to set it up yourself and also there'll be the launch commands in the description as well please leave a like if this helped and subscribe for more and share this with others obviously and yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video goodbye